You're listening to JTE Movie Thinks. Is that is that the title? Is that is that correct grammar? All right, we'll go with it. It's a show about movies and thinking. And now here's your host, every man's hero, JTE. What is up, everybody? I am back once again. Another episode of JTE Movie Thinks. Uh, the show's off and running, and if I'm going to have this show, as you know, I'm going to bring on the schmo, schmo friends and colleagues, but this truly is a friend and colleague. Oh, uh, the one and only it. Copster. Oh, you're so sweet. I try. I yeah, try, buddy. I, I prefer that than partner in crime. Partner in crime? I probably say <laughs> probably a couple times too often, but that, I thank you. Thank you for having me on. I commit a lot of crimes, Copster. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a fun episode. Um I really don't have any idea what you're going to pull up on me. See. Um, uh, but I will say, like, I said this in my announcement trailer. Like, you and Cody are definitely going to be the frequent guest on this yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we do a lot of stuff together outside of Schmoes. We're always working on stuff for the channel. Yeah, we work out from time to time. <laughs> we say we work the, out? We, yeah, we go to the gym sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once we hit 300 pounds. Oh, then shoulders. Benching. Shoulder shrugs. That's all I do. <laughs> um, all right, man. So... I will ask you what I ask every guest on the show. Yes. What is the last movie you watched, whether it be on a train, on a plane, automobile? That's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great movie, uh, but that is not the last was one. Was it something I you watched on Netflix? Was it something you saw it in is, your theater? It is something that I saw on Netflix, as oh. I do a lot. I watch Netflix a lot. Uh, I do think this will be the very first terrible movie that we talk about oh, Jesus. but why are you watching okay terrible listen movies? here's the thing i'll set it up for you the first movie because this is a sequel the first movie to me is a sleeper it isn't necessarily the greatest um particular type of genre i don't want to give it away too too quickly okay um, but i really do enjoy the first movie and i'll get into it uh, this sequel i was really looking forward it's to a sequel it is a sequel same okay. director too and <laughs> it ask, just it can has, i ask you one thing yeah, before yeah, you go yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> is the first movie good to me, I think so. I, okay. I think it's got a bad rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but who, who looks at okay. that anyways? Um, okay. I think the first one was a pretty creepy movie. Uh, kind of deals with... Okay, I'm just going to get... I, I, it's, okay. Yeah, hit me with um, it, buddy. Because I'm scared. It is Jeepers Creepers 2. Wow. <laughs> let me start off I by, sat there let, the other night and watched off, this entire me, movie. On. You probably don't like the first movie, huh? I love the first movie. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, I'm not the only one. I, I love the first movie. I saw it in theaters. Okay, yeah. I saw it in theaters. <laughs> Justin Long, before he was really famous. Yeah, yeah. He stars. Yeah. He kind of started start off in horror. Uh, I re- I saw this movie with my cousin, and we really dug it. Because yeah. some horror movies, the best way to have a villain is not knowing a lot about him. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the first movie really doesn't explain nothing what jeepers creepers no. is that line uh, every 23 years for the 20 every mm-hmm. 23 days for 23 whatever yeah. it is it's great and you don't get a lot of backstory behind it so when jeepers creepers 2 <laughs> came out me and my cousin saw opening weekend yeah because we were such a fan of the first one yeah let me say something cops there I really enjoyed Jeepers Creepers too. Thank you. Oh my god! I hope I didn't break the mic right there. No. Okay, listen. Here's the thing. I enjoy this movie. It's, a, it's maybe a little bit of a guilty pleasure. It, it is a terrible, terrible sequel because for the longest I don't, time I disagree a little bit. Look, with that. Well, listen, because I haven't seen this movie in a very long time, and I remember seeing it as I was younger. I mm-hmm. actually really enjoyed it. I thought the trailer for this thing was the coolest thing in the world. Cool you got the trailer. old man. I, uh, I can't, You'll probably look it up pretty soon. I forgot the old man's name. The dad. Oh, but the he, dad, when he's like, yes. kids, get down! He shoots this big ass harpoon yes. out of the, the freaking the creeper. I thought that was the coolest thing. But I, I was the same way. I didn't see it in theaters, but um, I really love the first movie and when the second movie was coming around in the same director I was really stoked I saw the trailer I saw it and I actually did like it a lot when I was younger probably because I didn't know any better but Uh, watching it recently mm -hmm. I I, I was like oh oh, this is the dialogue in this movie is so bad it's directed (laughs) by um, Victor Victor Salva yeah Salva yeah Um, he did do the first movie yeah he 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 was he was Supposedly, uh, Jeepers Creepers three, I think Cathedral is the name of it. Yep. It's supposed to come out like this year or next year, mm-hmm. but the dude had like sex offender uh, 
things that go against him, so he's oh, been really? in prison. Yeah, oh. so I don't see that happening anytime soon. That. But um, but I mean, the, characters from this movie and the first movie were going to come back. The sister from the first movie was going right. to come back that's for right. the third movie. So so <laughs> basically, let me. Re- I always like to read a synopsis yeah, off IMDb. <laughs> Set a few days after the original, which I like that aspect. I, really? Apparently, he only comes out for like a couple weeks a year. This is after the. Wh- yes. I, that you blows my that. mind. Yeah, I thought this was like the next cycle. No, no. Set a few days after the original. Wow. The championship basketball team's <laughs> bus is attacked by the Creeper. The winged flesh-eating horror on the last day of his 23-day wow. feeding frenzy. My mind is blown. I had no idea that that was like right after. Because they never really specify. I always well, just thought here's the thing. it could have been. The movie opens up with a flashback. No, it's no, a, no, it's, no. it's it's in That's the right. farm, it's a couple days, and the right. kid mm-hmm. he said, "I which to me, granted, mm-hmm. despite how crappy I do think yeah. this movie is, that opening scene is awesome because you get exactly. the creeper on the scarecrow, the scarecrow thing, thing, and he yeah. looks over to the side, and it is generally creepy. I really like that, and he looked like Nick Cannon or not, not Nick Cannon. What's oh, what's the uh, in sync kid uh, brother? I have no idea. What Aaron you're Carter. About. The oh, he kid looks like, looks like Aaron like Carter. Aaron Carter <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. Um, let me tell you something. <laughs> One reason I was excited about this sequel was because Jeepers Creepers, the first movie, he's basically on the run trying to catch yeah. Justin Long and his mm-hmm. sister. It's very subtle. Um, this is like there's a whole group of kids for him yeah, to kill. Exactly. Which, whole, just, but the thing is, up the though, body count. But there is no high body count. Not there a lot. Of, a, not, not a, a lot of people one. die. Not a lot of people because there's literally like 20 plus mm-hmm. kids in this bus. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what happens to half of them. You only get. To, you don't even get to know. You, who cares about getting yeah. knowing them? Oh, they're slaughtered. The meat for the slaughter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But like that's the kind of thing you would expect. Like you don't have a movie with Jason. Give him 20 kids and only kill three. You kill yeah, all of them. Kill I wanted them. to see the creeper munch down on every single one of these kids, and you don't see that. But what I really liked about this movie is again they're not explaining who the creeper is. No, I mean they they do this weird thing where the girl automatically gets psychic powers. Oh my powers. god! It was like Friday Thirteenth. Like, it was like one of those Friday Thirteenth yeah, movies yeah. where the girl it's has like, psychic We have powers. no idea what to do. Yeah. We don't know how to explain the backstory. Mm-hmm. So let her have a random ass vision that yeah. doesn't. Even, I guess they can kind of tie back to the first movie because yeah. the old lady had uh, uh, visions, but. Yeah. Still, it makes no yeah. sense. At absolute. <laughs> I'm oh. so happy you like this movie. Yeah, I though. really do. It, you know what this movie reminds me of? Mm. It reminds me a little bit of Jaws 2, but on land. Okay, I can okay, see that. You yeah, got yeah, these yeah. kids in these sailboats who are oh, yeah. dismantled. I'll say that. I like Jaws 2. I, like, I do like Jaws 2. I think it's it's not it's bad. It's nowhere near the original. Abs- okay. Absolutely. It's not, so, yeah. basically, Jaws <laughs> is picking these kids off one by one mm-hmm. on these boats. Yeah. Now, with Jeepers... You, he's picking he, them off on the yeah, bus. Yeah, he's picking them off on the bus. Right. And, just like the kids in that movie were using yeah. the boats to stay out of the water, the these bus. kids are staying on the bus mm-hmm. like it's going to do anything. <laughs> and I love the scenes of Jeeper just... Oh, man, s- when when he's like sniffing on the bus and he's oh, licking the yeah. thing, it is creepy. Because huh? there's that scene where they're all arguing with each other because they're mm-hmm. stupid idiot high school kids that don't know what to do. Uh, and they're arguing each other, and the one girl sees him in the corner, yep. and he's just staring there. And he's oh, that yeah. image is very, very creepy. Because the first movie, you don't see him a lot. Mm-hmm. You don't. And that image, I think the scariest part for me in the whole movie is seeing him dump the bodies in the in the big little tunnel or whatever, the little sewer drain. Yep, yep. And they're driving by. Yeah. I always thought that was the creepiest thing because you've never seen his face, mm-hmm. and his face kind of looks like a mixture of like Freddy and like the Swamp Thing. <laughs> and praying mantis. And or praying, something. Yeah, yeah. It's very creature like, <laughs> but I I like that they don't really explain it the one scene and i it's i caught this movie on cable not too long ago okay i came in halfway through but i remembered it very well so (laughs) i love the scene where he gets decapitated yeah oh wait when he when he rips his own head off he rips his own head off like he's a lizard or something yeah and it just losing its tail and like puts it on another person's head. Yeah, because I did like that because you don't really see that in the first movie. No. You see him. Uh, I guess maybe the director has something about cutting people's well, heads off because in the first movie the cop gets his head cut off. In the first movie he's in the and shadows. And he takes a bite of, uh, out of the head. But I do like the idea of him like if something detaches from his body he yeah. has to eat that in order for it to grow back in. I like and that. I love um, – and the way the students were on the bus, we are kind of too – Cause they have no idea what's going on. They have no idea true, what this thing very wants. True. Yeah. And because we don't know the motivation of the mm-hmm. creeper, except for that he's just out to kill. Yeah. And he has this weird thing where like he wants certain people. Yeah. The, <laughs> there's that line. What there's the will be eaten and, and the won't, won't be, be eaten. eaten. Fuck you, what, Jake. Let me ask you this. What do you think 
he looks for in a person. Because in the first movie, yeah, he wanted he wanted nothing but the the brother. The brother, yeah. He didn't yeah. want the sister. No. What is a he? Cool little what twist is for he that. looking for? It, it, is it, it a strength? A weak, no, a it was. Be, I, you know what? That's the thing. Like, if he doesn't get injured, does he not have to eat? Maybe he just does it for pleasure. Because I like the idea of them not actually explain it. Because the way they do it in number two, a body part, you know, something happens yep. to him and he just eats that part and it grows back. But well, mm-hmm. what if he doesn't do anything? You know, is he this there just to eat? You know, I mean, yeah. dogs got to eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> True. The one thing I really liked about The Creeper and what I really would kind of like to see a third film, especially directed by the same guy, mm-hmm. is he's unlike most horror icons where you got yeah. Freddy who's a, in the dreams. Um, Michael Myers is a you know a guy who just walks with a machete. Yeah, yeah. No this much guy is like the Terminator, the T one thousand. Okay, yeah, of see, horror, I <laughs> horror villain. If there was only one movie and you uh-huh. saw him, that you yeah. could say no personality. You couldn't say that because he didn't really have much personality. No. But in the second one, he's he's like when he when people when he's kind of going through all the kids in the yeah. bus and he's like. And he kind of like does yeah, a little gun at people, has, and he winks at other people. He, he has, has a little bit of cockiness to him. He has this really determination <laughs> that you don't know what it's motivated. Yeah, by. he's just like, I'm gonna fucking eat you. Yeah. Nothing's gonna stop me. And this thing, these guys are doing everything they can to stop him. Yeah, and he's tearing heads off. He, I mean, he. I love how they introduced one of the cool things. The very first film was the wings. Yeah, because that kind of came out surprise. of nowhere. Yeah, and I think to me, what makes this movie even worse is that the, is that they use that a lot in this movie. You didn't uh, like it. Okay, listen. When the movie starts off, I liked it because I love the scene. I mm-hmm. love the scene with all my heart and soul. Of um, you see the coach in the background; he's blurred out. Yeah. He's not focused, and then you just see, yeah. And then you see the like flare a hawk come down. grabbing a yeah a squirrel. Because yeah, the only <laughs> thing the only thing that takes it out of me mm-hmm. is just the, the special effects are terrible. Oh, when see, they're in I, when they're in I'm the back of the remember. truck shooting the flare, yep. and he's flying, he's like, ah! it, it looks so bad. I oh, could have done really? something way better than that. I don't. That's another thing. It takes me out. It's terrible special effects on that part. See, that's funny because when I think about the movie and the head scene and stuff like that, like the, the practical effects stuff, are pretty well. A lot of the practical stuff looks really good, but yep. even even in the head scene, if you go back into it, it doesn't look good either because uh, like part of his head is missing and he's yep. got no yep. brain, but there's like you it's know like little things. Hell, it's all yeah. CGI. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't to, look good. Yeah. Like I said, I've seen it. Not, it's been a while since I've seen it. But I remember. Mm-hmm. Fairly well from theaters. Yeah. The creature design, though, it is really great. It is really yeah. cool. Uh, trench coat and everything. One thing we didn't see in the second one was the car. The car played a big role in the first film. He had, like, this old oh, school... Oh, yeah, yeah. It like, just kind of like... the he, monsters would be driving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just abandoned it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing, though. It's like, well, you know, a lot of the time, these, like, movies, people want explanations from things. Yeah. It, it's just kind of there. And yeah, for these type of movies, you don't need that. I, I do think The First Jeeper Creepers is a very good, solid horror film. Yeah. This one, you just have fun with. Yes, you know? it's definitely more of a guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah, but... absolutely. I still think there's a lot of things in it to really enjoy. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I just bring out some of the lines? Yeah, you have <laughs> some. Of them? I, I do. I mean, I have. I'm looking. I know some by heart. There, there's the scene when um, I think one of the, the the last coach. There's only like two coaches, and for some reason, there's only fucking three cheerleaders. I don't. I have mean, no yeah. idea. Maybe they missed the bus full of cheerleaders on there, <laughs> okay, and yeah. they or they're just a bunch of bitches that want to smoke cigarettes all day. Um, uh, it was right after the second coach gets taken away, and every, all the kids are like, Scotty, what was it? His name was Scotty, by the way. And it was Scotty, and then the one black, he's like, Scotty, what the fuck was it? And yeah, he starts thinking, one, like, I don't know what it was, man, okay? That and then, one jock is just an a hole. Yeah, and then, he, and then he goes off and he looks off into the sky. He's like, But it had wings. Big fucking wings. And I just, it's. it's that really sticks out to you. <laughs> it's so stupid. And then the other one, um, let me see, what else has he got? Uh, Oh my god, there's there's so many bad ones. Um, ramble off something real quick, hold on. Well, let me. One thing we haven't really talked about, which is probably one of my favorite aspects of this movie, mm-hmm. is it's a revenge movie. Hmm. The father in the beginning. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, I, I found that to be. Well, like, you don't really get a lot with the father, though. They're barely in there. But in and he in. shows up, and you know exactly yeah, why he's there. Exactly. And you know his motivation. Mm-hmm. And when and, he does show up, it's kind of badass. Oh, fun fact. You know who plays his son? Oh, you mean the older son? The older son, yeah. Who was it? Little Big League. The Little Big League kid. Oh, really? Yeah, it's him growing up. I found that out, too. 
really I didn't cool. know that. I love Little Big League. I don't yeah, know. I, I haven't that seen was that movie in a long time. Yeah, yeah I think that's a lot. it's a fun movie. But I just thought that was really fun. That's but yeah, I, I do like that aspect of it uh, being a revenge story, you know. And the ending too is really cool. It was like, uh, how long ago did this happen or something like that? Or like, uh, oh, are you talking about it, like twenty three years ago? Give it a day or two he's or like something an old like man that. In a like, chair and he's just shotgun. and he's just waiting, he's just <laughs> waiting shotgun. for this thing to come back. It's hanging uh, on the wall. <laughs> but I really like that aspect because for the first half of this movie, there's nothing they can even do to compete with the Jeepers Creepers guy. Absolutely, he, they're basically just sheep, and he's a wolf. When this guy shows up with like a cannon of a harpoon, oh, yeah. like he's going after Moby Dick, <laughs> and they start taking him down, and that whole sequence of them actually fighting, yeah. They're trying to stop him. Mm-hmm. I found really well done, yeah. well choreographed. Mm-hmm. It was pretty badass. Yeah, I mean, especially towards the end because it gets a little more practical um, of when like the car flips over. Like all the car mm-hmm. stuff that they do was all it was all there. You yeah, know? and nothing, none of that was really fake, which I really appreciated, especially the last car ride. Again, I, I know I'm bringing a lot of Jaws references in here. That's very true. It was, yeah, it's like uh-huh. the, the first Jaws. They're shooting him with these barrels and this yeah. one they're shooting him with a harpoon to try to like and they got like javelins yeah. and, and I bet fucking this guy too. did a little Jaws uh, I bet he was a big influence on this director probably I, I see a little be... bit of Jaws 1 and Jaws 2 in this movie I'm not probably not going to be seeing any let interviews. me repeat this this movie is nowhere near as good as Jaws uh, no or no, even the second not. one really yeah but yeah. if you're looking for a fun horror movie yeah you could do a lot worse <laughs> than yeah, Jeepers Creepers too mm-hmm um, wow, is there anything else you want to say about the movie? I mean, just, yeah, I mean, it could have been, like, because in Jaws 2, you get a little more established of those characters, mm-hmm. and I think, I don't, I, I can't remember, I'm missing Jaws 2 in forever, but I can't remember how many kids actually die. You don't die. really get to And not a lot characters. of kids die in that movie either. Uh, and there's yeah, a few only, here only and there, a couple, yeah. But I mean, but like with this one, the movie goes, like, they all leave the bus, they all start running away. Yeah, at one and, point and, they just scatter. And then just like, where the fuck did everybody go? You know, you, you've uh-huh. seen the ones, like, there's... There was the one that gets his head cut off. Mm-hmm. One gets like an arrow to his head. Good, that guy deserved it for calling that guy gay and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the one asshole dude, he deserved it. He had his name. Oh, that's what I wanted to bring up: the knife with the markings on it. There's a yeah. weird scene when the the dad has the knife in his hand. Mm-hmm. Then it all of a sudden it shoots off into the wall. That's right. And no, what he doesn't like throw it. It does it have some kind of magnetic pull to the creeper. I don't also, know. Also, at the beginning of the movie, the way he disables the bus. It's like a ninja star made yeah, of teeth. Yeah, made of and teeth flesh. and bone and yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. really creepy. And one thing I really missed about the first film was they show his hide, his hideout. Yeah, which uh-huh. looks like you know. Well, could they they explain that? Because at the yeah. end of the first movie, he burns it down. They mentioned I, that. I do yeah. know why it's not there, but like, I want to know what was this place? This is it looked mm-hmm. like. Buffalo Bill from the Science of the Lambs. <laughs> yeah, just they got like over 400 parts of the bodies all mm-hmm. over the place. Yeah, and I see. That's the thing. I was like going to mention to you. Stuff. I was going to say Jeepers yeah. Creepers and not Jeepers because I watched Jeepers Creepers 2 first. Oh, okay. No. Wait, no, no. No, I watched Jeepers that? Creepers first. And then, then I you watched went to 2. But just because I wanted to talk about Jeepers Creepers because it's a great movie. It is, yeah. But I figured this would be fun. I think we, I was really surprised to say that you liked it. Yeah. But uh, that, was, that was a nice surprise. You know surprise. who's also a big fan of this movie if you listen to pretty much it? Eric Striffler. Eric Striffler, Eric Striffler is, a, is big a big fan of these movies and too. Yeah, we had a little tweet back and forth about how much we both enjoyed the movie. Oh, and awesome. how we were both hoping part three would eventually get released. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm still waiting for that thing. We both really, especially enjoyed if this the movie. sister comes back. Yes, yeah, so that's what kind of sold me on it too. Because does he want? Is he going after her now? Yeah. Like, what's this? And Not only that, though. Gonna, here's the only thing I'm worried about. I heard rumors mm-hmm. that the third film does get into what he is. Oh, I, you and know, I'm stay little, away from explain. Exactly. Don't explain it. Don't explain Don't it. Stay away from it. Because whatever it is, it's not going to be as cool as what we think it could be. <laughs> if there's anything magical about these movies, it yeah. is not knowing what the creeper really is. I the totally fact agree. that we call him the creeper. He's just a cool, <laughs> badass character. Yeah. Let me bring up another thing, too, is the police got fucking wiped out. How are they not, like, just going through this whole highway searching for this guy. It's not really mentioned. Searching for the, the students this, or the, the creeper. The creeper. I think it happens in twenty three days. And yeah. Well, couple, they get over it. A couple people go missing. By the time they know things are going down. No, but I'm saying the whole police force in the first movie. Oh, that's right. They got wiped them. out. Like not only there was a the whole SWAT well, team that saw big ass bird looking dude take a guy off. away. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know exactly how many days has passed. That's true. It could be the yeah. next day, for all we know. That's very true, yeah. And we don't know how big of a net this guy is <laughs> yeah. running into. But I do like that Justin Long had come back, just but, for that little scene, yeah, it's that you know? A little bit of a cliche, cliche horror, like, yeah, turn yeah. around, yeah, don't yeah, go yeah. down that mm-hmm. road, but... 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Jeepers Creepers is a solid horror movie that I think doesn't get enough credit. Maybe. No, I don't think it did. No, no. it did it, because the whole. If we're gonna talk about that for a second, uh-huh. the whole opening scene. You're just. You're just. It's just the brother and sister talking to each other in that fun game that they have yeah. where they're guessing the license plate. I love that. One, yeah. yeah, to talk about the first one. Yeah. And that's what you need in horror films. You yeah. establish the characters first so that you can actually care for them. In, in, in the second one, it's Not a full so on slasher. You don't yeah. give a shit about this kid for being all pissy for playing yeah. ten seconds in a basketball. If anything, game. if you feel that for any character, it's the father. Yeah, absolutely. And you, and you yeah. understand his motivation. Even the little... brother's kind of a prick too. Yeah, I yeah, guess because he can yells see that. just because he yells at his brother in the beginning of the movie. Man, but I love the opening scene of this movie. It is awesome because that's what that's it, it was kind of that was part of the trailer too. Much like Halloween one and two take place almost on the same night, basically. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I, I would like recommend um, watching Jeepers Creepers one and two back to back. You yeah, can almost that's watch it as a three-hour movie. I, that's crazy. I never put together that the second one was. Uh, that still blows my mind. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. Well, this was a pretty awesome episode. One of the things I love about this show is my guests bringing up movies. I have no idea what you guys are going to bring up. Mm -hmm. And I love getting a chance to talk about these kind of movies. And I listen, don't go in expecting this to be the best horror movie I've ever seen. No. If you go in with an open (laughs) mind and you just want to have a fun, kind of a horror slasher, gory, I want to say it's that gory, but... Just a fun, nah. co- high concept horror film. Yeah, it's it, not a high concept. But I mean, it's it's the first a little one. bit out of left field. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll say out but of left field, but high with, concept. I think of. But like, with that, you get originality, and the reason yeah. why me and my cousin, my cousin is a huge horror fan. Yeah. And the reason we really got this film is because it was something different. Yeah. Than different. any of the other horror icons. That we mm-hmm. grew up with. And we didn't get 18 different sequels for True. it. Granted, they were much smaller films, and the director uh, is a kind of a pedophile. Uh, but, I mean, <laughs> yeah, maybe I give it a movie. Yeah, I about that. <laughs> yeah, look it up. It's kind of crazy. It is. I, I, I think he's out of prison, though. So Maybe this third one's coming uh, out? Maybe. It's slated to come out, I think, this year. So, oh. fingers crossed. I want this movie. I want to see it. All right, well, Copster, uh, where can they find you online besides the Schmo's No Movie Show? Yeah, uh, you guys can find me at Copster15. That's on Twitter. Um, Schmo Plus, youtube.com slash Schmo Plus. A lot of cool behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, you, me, Finstock, and all the other boys. Uh, hopefully, yep. who knows, by the time this airs, we ha- might have something out. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Uh, but we're working on a lot of short film type of things, sketch comedy, blah, blah, blah. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Who would win, the Jeepers Creeper or Bobby Finstock? Finn Stock's mask. <laughs> they, I think they would no, team just, up. No, just his mask. I think they would team up. <laughs> you know, that's... I don't know, because the creeper doesn't Com- talk that Finn much. Finn Stock would be like, you take the guys, I'll take care of the girls. <laughs> hey, hey, he'd be like, hey, just, 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 just find me. Find me. Yeah. Find me somewhere. Just, 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 just do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, you could find me on Twitter at SchmozJTE. Also, look for me on Box Office Breakdown every Monday on the Popcorn Talk Network. And of course, you could catch us on the Schmoes No Movie Show every Thursday. Every Thursday night. I'm always engineering. Cops just running around, prepping stuff, taking pictures. Yeah, I do stuff sometimes. Yeah, and once in a while we get on the mic. Yeah, get on the mic. <laughs> and thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate this. No, thank this. you. I, I'm so glad you brought this movie because I really so do enjoy it. I might go home and just watch it again. <laughs> I, 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 might, I might watch it myself. Nice. Um, guys, do me a favor. If you're listening to this on iTunes, real quickly, uh, just throw a little review on there. You don't have to write a sentence or a paragraph. Just real quickly. I don't care if you just throw an exclamation point. You know, throw a happy face. <laughs> you don't have to write a lot of stuff. Give me a five-star rating if you feel like I gave you a five-star podcast. <laughs> And, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to JTE Movie Thinks, and keep thinking about those movies.